I was living in South Philadelphia, uh, and Brendan came over for rehearsal one day, and I used to play a full kit with Norwegian Arms when I first started. Yeah. And you showed up one day, and I had just like gone crazy. Maybe I was hungover or something. I'm not really sure. But I just set up three different uh, heights of trash cans with various pots and pans surrounding yeah. it, and I was like, let's. let's Let's try this. Yeah, there was that one white kitchen trash can. There was a used. white tr kitchen trash can. Now, the reason I stopped using Rubbermaid bins and trash cans is because uh, we were playing a show at the Ox, and like two songs in, the Rubbermaid bin just completely cracked uh, yeah. it, cracked in half, and I was like, uh, "This is this is going to eventually become a problem. Like, yeah. I'm going to have to keep buying Rubbermaid bins," <laughs> and it's just like. It, it suddenly it wasn't convenient anymore. So then we started doing uh, floor tom and deadening it with gaff tape and like handkerchiefs. And then after that, I started playing synth with my left hand and doing floor tom and synth to sort of replicate the sounds that we got for our upcoming record. Yeah. It's kind of funny because uh, also, I, I think another one of the reasons why we switched to the floor tom is that we didn't want to be like a I don't. I, we didn't want it to become like a gimmick, right? The reason why we chose the rubber made bin is because we liked the way how it sounded. As, as hokey as that sounds, we liked how it sounded. Mm -hmm. It, you know, got, he could get a Eric could get a, a wide variety of sounds out of it that were really useful. But after a while, we were sort of just becoming that like trash can band. Like a lot of like when people would write blurbs about us, it wouldn't be about the music; it'd just be about like the gimmick. Oh, look at this dude play on this piece of plastic. Yeah. And like that's, I mean, as as nice as it was that people were even talking about it in the first place it's it, it um i could sense that it was going to become like eventually be like a crutch and i didn't want it, i didn't want it to be that way and i mean as as you grow as we've grown as a band we've you know always like very slowly and constantly manipulated our instrumentation because even back when you played full kit i only played guitar there wasn't even mandolin back then it's, that's true so it's been like a really uh, it's been like a ongoing yeah we've been trying to figure out what sounds the best but i mean rubber made band and mandolin just so people know it does sound really cool. It does. It sounds like a lot of attack and it's, it fit the songs that Brennan had been writing. So yeah. it was a cool thing for the time, but I'm glad that we're sort of going past that now and we'll probably expand the band even further from here. Yeah.